Hi, this is Wonder Kids, our SciTech podcast, where you send in your big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Zaya, and I've been trying really hard not to yawn because of a question sent in by Phoebe. Hi, my name is Phoebe, and I want to know why are yawns contagious? And to answer that question, we have Evan joining us today. Hi, I'm Evan. I'm a science presenter from SciTech with a background in biology. That's a great question, Phoebe. Honestly, scientists are still trying to learn a lot more about yawning and why it's contagious. But I am going to tell you what we do know. Firstly, what is a yawn? Well, we all yawn, right? Imagine it now. A big breath in, some stretching of the jaw muscles and eardrums, maybe a little bit of arm and leg stretching as well. Who does it? Well, most mammals yawn. If you have a pet dog or cat, you've probably seen it yawn. But did you know that some birds, fish, lizards, and snakes also yawn? Although their yawns are a little bit different to human yawns. Why do we do it? Well, there are many different reasons for why animals yawn. Snakes sometimes yawn to help realign their jaws after they've swallowed a big meal or to help scrape slime off the top of their mouths if they've eaten something like a frog or a snail. Baboons, guinea pigs, and Siamese fighting fish are some of the animals that yawn to show aggression, often showing off big scary teeth while they do it. Dogs often yawn when they're tired, but they also yawn when they're nervous or anxious. As for humans, we yawn for many reasons. We yawn when we're tired, hungry, nervous, bored, or even when we're about to do something really active, like play sport. Honestly, no one is really sure exactly why we yawn. Some scientists have investigated the idea that yawns help control the temperature of our brain. Some scientists think we're yawning to become more alert, which explains why it often happens when we're tired and bored, but also why people often yawn before they play sport or go skydiving, or when they're feeling nervous. These are just a few of the potential reasons why we yawn, and there's some interesting evidence that supports each of these. But not enough for scientists to say for certain why we yawn. (sighs) Why are yawns contagious? Well, one thing we definitely know about yawns is that they can be contagious. About half of people will yawn when they see someone else yawning. Yawns are so contagious that even just reading or talking about people yawning can be enough to make people yawn. In fact, you might feel like you need to yawn just listening to this. When I was researching this question and reading about yawning, I found myself constantly yawning. (sighs) Contagious yawning isn't just in humans either. Chimpanzees experience contagious yawning which makes sense as they are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom, but also dogs, which is a little more strange. Dogs can even yawn in response to humans yawning. I read a fascinating study which showed that dogs are more likely to yawn when their owner yawns than if someone else yawns, which suggests there is an emotional or social aspect to contagious yawning. If yawning is something we do to make ourselves more alert, it makes sense that it would be contagious. If your friend yawns to become more alert, it's probably a good idea for everyone else around to do the same thing. But given that we don't actually know why we yawn in the first place, it's very hard to know why it's contagious. Wow, I had no idea that so many different animals yawned. Yeah, and scientists still don't completely understand yawning. But there are some scientists who think that we catch yawns because we're trying to stay awake? Yeah, maybe not awake, but certainly alert or focused. Yes, that's one idea, but definitely not the whole story. There's lots of investigation for scientists to do. That's so weird. Thanks, Evan. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.